This is going to be a controversial episode, all right? Because I think some people are going to accuse me of eating my words. You will eat your words, time teller! Kind of sounded like Skeletor there. You will eat your words, time teller! Here's the deal, all right? I've really rallied against Seiko lately. I've rallied even harder against Seiko 5 in the past few years. Predominantly because Seiko 5 released this abomination that harkens back to one of the best entry-level divers ever created. Seiko SKX 007. Why did you have to re-release it under Seiko 5 with the stupid 5KX? Why? That's right. That's right. You, you guys have complained I haven't been yelling enough on this channel lately. Well, guess what? We're back. It is 11.09 a.m. Let's get down to business. Okay, so why am I already ranting about Seiko 5 volts? Because a lot of you guys in my comment section and in my inbox have been asking me if Seiko 5 recently did something right for once. And I was like, hold on, hold on. First of all, we need to question whether or not Seiko has done anything right recently because Seiko has been doing a lot wrong recently. And then when we look at Seiko 5, is it even possible that they've made a good decision lately? So one of the earliest watches I've ever reviewed on this channel, like way back when, I think like 2017, I recommended the SNK 809 as one of the best options, one of your go-tos if you were to buy one of your kids a watch, if you were gonna buy another a friend a watch, one of their first mechanical wrist watches. I was like, you know what, the SNK 809 it's great, you can learn what it's like to own and wear a mechanical watch, something that has much more life and charm in it than just a simple quartz watch. Uh, you have a display case back, you can see how things work. Uh, it's just a nice, versatile, robust, easy to wear watch that wouldn't break the bank. I mean, back then, when I first started this channel, you could get them brand new for like 45 bucks all day long blue dial we're talking black dial we're talking hey they i think they got a red dial in there they even got a khaki dial a green dial now unfortunately you know at the end of 2021 entering 2022 if we were to look at the snk 809 prices well they're like double if not over double what they were now i kind of understand what's going on here i mean seiko all but stopped producing uh, the SNK 809 series. So yeah, I mean, it's going to go up in price as the demand exceeds the supply. However, we also need to acknowledge they made a ton of these watches. But Seiko, specifically with their Seiko 5 series in 2021, did they do something right? You see, it seems they've reissued, if you will, the SNK 809 under a different reference number, the SRP H29. You're getting a better movement with hacking and hand wind. You're getting a better water resistance rating. And you're still getting that classic, simple, almost military-esque styling. Now, it should be noted, these new Seiko 5 field watches, aviation watches, whichever one, whatever you want to call it, okay? These new SNK 809s are being released substantially more expensive than the $45 ones were, you know, years ago. These are coming in at $275. But... I'm trying to figure out an answer for all the people that have been writing to me asking if this is like a great move, if this is showing that Seiko is doing something properly. Hey, we all loved the SNK 809. It's getting more expensive. Hey, you gave us some really cool upgrades and you re-released it and it's a better package. Is it good, Time Teller? Well, here's what I have to say. I'm happy to see them continue to produce a watch that is so beloved amongst collectors, you know, new collectors, uh, even kind of veteran collectors. The, the, the SNK 809 was very, very charming. And I'm happy to see that Seiko made a very capable watch, even more capable with a better movement hacking hand wind and a 100 meter water resistance rating instead of like the, the 30 meter water resistance rating that came on the initial one. And I do like that this watch is being released well under the $500 price point. However, this also illustrates the exact issue that I've been complaining about the last like two or three years when it comes to Seiko products, okay? Them discontinuing beloved watches to then give them uh, minimal, impressive, I don't know, it's up to debate. These 
upgrades that they give these watches and then release them under a different reference number for substantially more money. Like, that, isn't that exactly what they did to the SKX? Isn't that exactly what they did to the Alpinist? Isn't that exactly what they're doing with this SNK 809 reissue? I mean, I still think this is a great entry-level watch for the under $500 price point, but at 275, I'm gonna be clear, there are other watches to consider. It's not as much of a, you know, value proposition as the SNK 809 was at $45. You know, 275, hey, there's, there's more money there, there's more to choose from in that price range. So I'm not comfortable saying that Seiko did a great job with this. I'm also not comfortable saying that they did a terrible job with this. Part of me wants to say if it ain't broke, don't fix it. But I also understand like times change. At least they didn't say, hey, you know what? Uh, this is a $650 watch. Cause it's not, it's not. I think 275 is still reasonable for what you get. But guys, as always, let me know what you think about this because I could be totally off base. And I learn just as much from you as you do from me. So the comments really do help my channel out and uh, I would love to hear from you. So type away. And there you have it guys, another rant in the books. I hope you enjoyed it. I will catch you on the next one. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the bell icon if you haven't already. I want each of you getting notified when I upload. Go ahead and follow me on Instagram at The Simple Consultant. You can see a bunch of behind the scenes stuff, more of my life away from just this prison that is my office. Yeah guys, we'll see you on the next episode. All right, stay happy, stay healthy, stay blessed. I'm Jory Goodman, The Time Teller. And always remember, I didn't invent time. I just tell it. You thought I forgot?